You could put every team in the Western Conference under a blanket. These two are no exception. The Cincinnati Silverbacks host the Colorado Killdozers at Heritage Bank Center on the banks of the Ohio River. Andy Cuomo in goal for Cincinnati, who after a five-game losing streak have won three of their last four, looking to leap back into a playoff berth against Ethan Lyons and the Killdozers, who with Vancouver's slump are smelling blood for that number one seed. Christian Miller against James Bedard at center ice, and the game has begun. Back to Mark Pullen cars, and the first rush will go to the Silverbacks, but attacked away for Michael Ray and brought back ahead by Ian Hamilton. Brings it over the blue line and takes to the corner to start off. Trying to feed it out in front, but Pullen cars was there to pick it off. Brings it over the blue line for Richie. Richie stopping the corner, trying to fling that one out in front, and Lions is there to cover. So more about the Western Conference standings coming in here. The Silverbacks are currently in fourth, tied for third, but they do not have the tiebreaker over the Emeralds. If they win this game in any fashion, they go from fourth to first. Colorado, if they win, they go from second to first. It's that tight at the top. And if any team slips up, Buffalo's there in last place, only two points out. To right in front for Miller, and a save made by Lions. In addition, today was the trade deadline and only one team took a swing. And it's the team wearing white right now. Colorado picked up Ryan Dezingle from the Hartford Whalers in exchange for Drew Stafford and two second round picks. See all the trade updates on our Instagram account. Feed one for Menelainen, pump fake on the backhand, dropped it back for Reinhardt. Menelainen to the slot again, back for Poland cars. Played there with Davis, and he's going to get hammered by Bedard. He chases after, but Reinhardt beat him back. The Reinhardt pulling cars pair has played the whole game. Sent on for Morehouse, trying to slip some by, shoots one, save, score on the rebound, Bryce Davis! 1 0, Cincinnati! Morehouse took the shot, and how did that even get through? It looked like Lyons was in perfect position to stop the rebound. Oh, just underneath the pad. He, he got that down a split second earlier would have stopped him. The Silverbacks were putting pressure on early, and Bryce Davis, wearing the A on the sweater, is there to cash in. Pivotal early goal for the home team. Yurko for Hintz, and that one was beaten aside. Pressure still on, falls back to the point where Dezingle with his first touch of the puck as a killdozer, feeds it to Smith, back for Rich, safe, rebound for Dezingle, and getting a piece of it was Cuomo. Fought for in the corner, flung back for Dezingle now. Jeffries a shot that goes wide, and that one's sent back up for, Collar, for Cincinnati to bring it forward. And a trip and a penalty coming up against the Silverbacks. First power play of the game will go to the Colorado Killdozers. Thomas Yurko, who a few games ago had a hat trick, I believe that was the 6-3 uh, win against Buffalo, scored three in that one. He's in the box. First power play opportunity goes to the road team. Bedard is tied up. It fell for him again. Richie's there to clear. And it goes behind that to be taken up by Pontus Auberg. Lions had it. Auberg with a pass forward for Bedard. And sent to the left for Shays, filling in for the suspended Timo Meyer. Laid for Auberg, and a save and a cover by Cuomo. It was in Colorado's last game, which was against Buffalo, where Timo Meyer delivered a very vicious hit on, I believe it was Chandler Stevenson. And as a result, he's been suspended. If I recall correctly, it's four games? Four or five? Can't remember how much we gave him. I should, but I don't. Here's Rich, and he's just offside, trying to charge forward with Viglietti. 54 seconds to go on the Colorado power play. And 11 minutes, 10 seconds to go in the first period of a 1-0 game, Cincinnati in front. Dizingle getting power play time, fed that down for Rich. Rich able to slip his way by out for Smith. 
battle for the puck there. CC had tried to hack it back. Morehouse is able to send it down the length of the ice. Where it has to be chased by Hannigan. Sorry, it's actually Dezingle. So there was a number change. Of course, Dezingle gets his 18. I don't know what number Hannigan is wearing now. We'll have to see. And Cody CC there getting in the thick of the play. <clears throat> the former Highlander. Sent Jeff Liss over to Halifax to get him back and got a draft pick out of it. May not have been most advised. A rich shot and a glove saved by Cuomo. As the Cincinnati defense looked really off after the list trade, as previously mentioned, that five game losing streak. But they have won three of their last four since that streak came to an end. Looking for another one here. The penalty is over. Holden will bring this one up off the draw. Has Yurko forward with him. Holden spins in the corner, dropped to the point, dry by Davis, second try, Yurko's there with it, and he tripped him again, Yurko's going right back to the box as soon as he got out. My apologies, it is actually Kirby Reichel. He gets two for tripping. And he's not happy about it. Second power play opportunity for the Killdozers. Two shots in the previous one. Auberg a drive. That one is blocked and cleared by Tom Ritchie. Edler plays that one on for Ian Hamilton. Brings it in the attacking zone. Down low for Shays. Back for Bedard. And it fell for Auberg. He stops up. Shoots. And that one is right into the glove of Cuomo for a whistle. I would say potential playoff preview, but... Looking at the standings, you could say that about pretty much every Western Conference matchup. Auburn for Edler. Only three points separate all five teams. Hamilton, oh, what a goal from a sharp angle on the power play for Ian Hamilton. How did he put that in? And the game is tied 1-1. How did that happen? Nice pass from Shays, and it looks like Cuomo left just a tiny bit open, and Hamilton was able to see it. Oh, this should be a good view. Oh, right off the ass cheek of Cuomo. The bank off the butt has evened it up. With 8.17 to go in the first, a power play pays dividends. Spinning with a Jeffries, he's hooked. Yet another penalty coming up here against Cincinnati. This time it's Miller It's going to go to the box unless they score right here. Sent for Viglietti. Hamilton takes it behind the net. Back out for Viglietti. They do the Ham Hamilton corner again. It's picked off by Richie and the whistle goes. So here we go again. Third power play in just the first period. Slashing penalty by Christian Miller against Wes Jeffries. So yet another man advantage opportunity here for the Killdozers. One for two. Dezingle for Ray, and that one off the glove of Cuomo to the glass. Smith hangs on to the corner. He's able to drop that one back for Viglietti. And a drive from Ray is beaten away up slightly off the pad. Smith played it for Dezingle. Ray again, and a glove save, and a whistle on the stop by Cuomo. Very long first period due to all the stoppages and penalties. Tie up off the draw, it fell for Craig Smith, he spins with a SCORE! Jeremy Rich! One-timer, 2-1. A second power play goal for Colorado and they have their first lead. Smith off the tie up, 
And Rich, set up for the one time, you're able to blast it by Cuomo. Great one timer right in the slot. And the Silverbacks really have got to cut it out with the penalties here. Six minutes to go in the first period. Brought ahead by Craig Smith, intercepted by Michael Stone. Stone bringing it forward. Five to go in the period. Lair tried to lay that one out in front, but Smith was there to get in the way of it. Off the skates of Davis, and Smith charged ahead again. He has Dezingle charging. Dropped it back for Edler. Now on for Ray. Off a stick, fell for Dezingle. Sent back for Edler. Dezingle is shot through traffic. Save, looking for the rebound. And but swept away by Stone. Pass forward for Menelain and counterattack here. Morehouse weaving through. Back for CeCe. Save. Rebound out for Stone. Stone still on it. Shoots and it deflected up and into the glove of Lyons, who hasn't had to do much in this period. Only the fifth shot he's faced. Stopped four of them. Fourth line out for Cincinnati here. Reichel, Padone, and Sabarin. Pass to the right for Pontus Auberg. Weaving through. Fired, and that one's kicked away by Cuomo. And picking it up is Sabarin. Back and forth. Here's Padone. Reichel is shot, and that one went in the glove of Lyons. Minute and a half to go in the period. One of the longest periods of this entire season. Tie up, Sabern gets it, and Cincinnati controls here. Reinhardt for Poland cars. Rister through traffic. Jeffries trying to sweep away the rebound. Delorier able to get that one up for Gaudet. Gaudet weaving through. 20 seconds left. They look for a third goal. Delorier is shot and went wide. Look at the rebound. It's loose. And Cuomo able to sweep it away with the stick. Three seconds left. Maybe one more shot. Delorier missed the net by a mile. And that is it. For what? Lots of penalties. Three total goals. We'll be back from Cincinnati. I think we know what the message was in the Silverbacks dressing room. Stop it with the bleeping penalties. We'll see if they listen. Here's Ian Hamilton, has one of the two Colorado goals and he brings it forward. Laid it for Bedard and that one picked off in a pile of sticks and a fed the turnover Bedard there and a save is made by Cuomo and the counterattack is led by Christian Miller. Miller brings it in over the blue line, put it on for Richie. Back for Miller, and his shot is stopped by Ethan Lyons. Whose team has a 2-1 to one advantage. That turnover, Cuomo didn't overextend. If he did, he probably would have gotten beaten through the five hole. He knew he had time, the defenseman was on him. Great poise. Sent back by Davis, pulling cars a shot, and that was initially loose, but Lyons is able to get on it off the stop. And the whistle. Yeah, they're pulling cars and Reinhardt. That pair is dangerous, especially off the face off, so they can get Davis another clean win. Dozers could be in trouble. They don't. Hemeyer off the tie-up, got that one forward for Craig Smith. Laid it on for Rich, trying to feed that one forward, but pulling cars picked it off. Man aligned and bringing it forward. Able to cut by and played it for Morehouse. Save me by Lions and trickled wide. Played up now by Ryan Dezingle. Brings it over the blue line. Played for Smith. Back to Dezingle. Save. Looking for the rebound. Dezingle's going to send it back to the point. Smith. Hemeyer. Smith. Step by Menelainen. Dezingle again. Twists that one behind. Pulling cars on it. He's hit hard by Smith, but Reinhardt's right there to pick up the puck. Sent to the roof for pulling cars, ricocheted on for Davis. Davis able to step away and finds an opening. Lost that one to Zingle and it fell for Jeffries. Jeffries picks it up, Hemeyer put it on now. Craig Smith brings it forward. 
In the corner. Try to feed that one out in front. Big hit by Delorier. Gaudette chasing, and he gets it. Gaudette feeds it all oh, too far back. And a silverback is chasing, but he's being beaten in the puck by Alex Edley. Hints in a battle with sticks there. And it goes to Edler. Delorier able to step by. Play down low for Robert. Stopped up. Robert laid that through, and Hints is there to pick it off. Trying to feed that one by. Stone had that one bounce for Janssen. Back to Hintz. Yurko on it now. Able to get by. Play it on for Richie. Didn't take the shot, but he drew a penalty. Riley played that through for Yurko. Bank pass. Touched up by Gaudette. And the penalty call. First power play of the game for the Cincinnati Silverbacks. And it's against Nicolas Delaurier. For a slap. Never mind a hook. Sent back by Hintz, drive, and a save made by Lyons with his pad on the one-timer from Richie. Morehouse takes it. Richie up the left. Has Hintz charging, couldn't quite get it to him, getting in the way was Lucas Spiza. Brought ahead by Smith, shorthanded, he's sent down by Miller. Hintz able to step his way by, could be three on two if they get the bodies forward fast enough. Here's Terrifying, back to Hintz, waited too long, back to the point. Hintz gets it, Gaudette took it from him, can't be cleared. Hintz in the corner, back for Richie, has space, Richie couldn't get the shot away. Lions took it and Gaudette cleared it. Miller played that for Hintz, 30 seconds to go on the penalty. Hintz dropped it for Morehouse. Down low for Miller. Morehouse had that one blocked by Spiza. Hints a shot and Lions a save. A lot of action in the attacking zone for Cincinnati on this power play, but unable to score one yet. Jeffrey's big hit on Richie. Lions has had to make some really good saves. Reading the positioning well. Clean back. Reinhardt down low. Mental line didn't take the shot. Sabarin waits on that one. Able to step his way by now. Drops it back to the point for Yurko who dumps it in. Picked up in the corner by Sabarin. And now for Mental line and back for Reinhardt. Yurko hanging on. Yurko dropped it to the point. Reinhardt. Sabarin through one timer and a glove save by Lyons. The shot came, I believe, from Mental line. So the Killdozers did end up surviving that penalty. And they still lead. Two to one. Morehouse back for Stone and now CeCe. Tried to bank that one in the line and is able to get it, but Hamilton's there to jump the lane and pick off the pass. Figlietti sent that one back for Bedard. Sent to the flank again now for Michael Ray. Weaving his way by Deeks around. Ray for one time. That one came in lightning quick, but was blocked by Stone. Holding on to it, Bedard. Morehouse picks it off. Could be 2v1 here. Morehouse. Wait. Metalinen. Save made by Lyons. Tim Morehouse using the speed there. Menelainen wasn't in good position for the one-timer, though. Uh, Miller sends that one back. Richie on the backhand, and that one is stopped. Play a cross ice by Viglietti. Fell back for Michael Ray. A bank for Ian Hamilton. Getting one of the net, but picking it off was Tara Vinan. Christian Miller up the right, has Richie down low. Miller, play that for Terrifying, and back to Richie! Lions stopped him once again, as Roussel played that on for Bedard. Bedard over the blue line, intercepted by Terrifying, and played up for Polengar. 1.15 to go in the second. Richie for Polengar, shoots, and that one blocked away. Played out for by Terrifying, and it ricocheted awkwardly off the glove of Lions. It was taken up by Hannigan, sent on for Shays. 20 seconds left, Roussel back. Jurgensen's didn't take the shot. Spiza drive, and he missed it out with it. Pull on cars, got hit off the puck. He didn't get it forward. Now he does for Richie. Three seconds, two. They're not going to get a shot off. But actually, they did there with Sabarin. But it's easily gloved down by Lions. I don't know if it actually would have beaten him. The buzzer. Still 2 1. We'll be back with a third. The good old days of hockey. We are back. Vintage jerseys.
shots, 18 of 13. Silverbacks, Bulls, 2-1 Killdozers. A great performance so far for Ethan Lyons. Can he finish it off and get his team into first place in the West, which is a first round bye in the playoffs. Reinhardt shoots in that one! Off the glove of Lyons and went wide. Miller shot and that one stick to the corner as well. Strong start for Cincinnati. Sent back by Miller. Ray is pinned there by Richie. Puck popped loose for Ray to take a turn over there and a penalty is called. The fourth taken of the game for Cincinnati. And it's Richie going to the box, the captain. A hook on Ray, the two captains coming together. Two for three. Up to this point in the Colorado power play. Can they make it a 3-1 lead here? Ray sent it back for Smith. And played for Smith again, looking for the rebound there. A big hit is delivered by Viglietti, but the puck is cleared. All the way back down is Ryan Dezingle to get it. Kildozer's using him a lot in his first game as Smith has that shot blocked to the corner. Stone able to clear it as far as center to Ray. Off a stick, it fell for Smith. Played for Viglietti, stopped up in the circle. Down low for Dezingle, Smith didn't shoot, neither did Ray. Played for Viglietti, hit off the puck by Morehouse and he's able to clear. 40 seconds left in the penalty. Here's Ray. Forward for Smith, weaving at the blue line. Smith laid it down low for Rich, trying to get through. Dropped it back, Morehouse picked it off. 15 seconds off in the penalty, he'll rush shorthanded. That clear ricochet off the skates of Dezingle. And it's played back to him by Ray. Penalty over, great kill from the Silverbacks. It's still 2-1. Smith able to step his way by. Craig Smith is shot, and that one deflected wide. Holden played out, and Richie's out of the box. May have caught the dozers in a change. Bryce Davis threw for Morehouse, and that one beaten aside. Shea's able to pick that one up off the bench. 14.40 to go, he'll dump it in. Picked up hand the net by Reinhardt, and out for Morehouse. Morehouse able to slip that one through for Davis. Davis along the boards dangerously. Shea's in the battle there with him. Hamilton trying to get it, Davis chasing. Hamilton is hooked. Another penalty. A fifth power play coming up here for Colorado. It's Tim's turn to go to the box. Morehouse for yet another hook. Well, that's something they can definitely change for the future. It's uh, maybe don't cut it out with all the stick work when you don't have the puck. Auberg drive, and that one repulsed by Lions, and a trip this time against Bedard, and the power play ends as quickly as it began. We're going to be four on four. Going in the box for Colorado is Bedard for a trip on CC. Looks like CC may have embellished that just a bit, but the refs seem to not care about that. 4v4 for a minute 48. Reinhardt is hammered. Jurgensen stepped by. It's a two, was a two on one, but Poland Cars picked it off. Reinhardt got that through for Richie. Stopped up. Play for Poland Cars, and Lions will cover it. A one goal lead for Colorado with 12:28 to go in regulation. And there was the hit by Shays as he hammered Poland cards. Bedone loses a brother to Heemeyer. Gaudet in a stick battle and getting it out there was Jeffries. Played for Shays, trying to drop that through, but Padone's there to pick it off. He'll bring it over the blue line. Padone stopping back. Try to dump that to the corner and getting it, peeling away is Gaudet. There is Mez Padone shaken up on the play and he limps to the bench. And another big hit delivered by Menelainen. We'll see if we can get you updates on the condition of Padone at the next stoppage. Fell back for Jeffrey. Still 18 seconds left, four on four, then a short 12 second power play for the Silverbacks as that one goes in front. No contact from Colorado. Brought ahead by Janssen. Janssen stopping up. And he lost in the circle to Edler who clears and that'll finish off the momentary power play. Back to five on five. Halfway through the third period. Morehouse dropped it for Miller. And he laid it back to the point for Menelainen now. 
Miller still on it. Played it for Morehouse in the corner. Stepped away momentarily. And a line and back for Mike Riley. Playing catch. Morehouse doesn't take the shot. Dropped it for Miller. Morehouse on it now. Shoots and a save by Lyons. And here's what happened to Patel. Oh my! His body twisted in a way that bodies aren't supposed to twist. But he seems to be fine. He's still on the Cincinnati bench. Miller and Bedard here, one back for Rada Edler. And he cross ices that one for Steven Viglietti. Viglietti trying to lay that one in front, but it's picked off. Pulling cars back. Brought ahead again by Tara Vinen. Sent for Miller. Pulling cars for Reinhardt. Shoots, and it's in! The game is tied, and it's Richie off a wacky bounce! Reinhardt with the initial shot. Took several deflections, fell right on the goal line. And Richie, all he had to do was tap it home. Hit Lions and just sat on the goal line. Richie puts it in, 2-2 game. And offside there against Bedard. So we are back even. The first goal scored since the first period with 6.56 to go in the third. The way these goals have been playing, I would not be shocked if the next goal wins. Viglietti still has it. Intercepted by Tara Vinen and he'll bring it for Tara Vinen lost it. Fell back and played for Richie again. Save lines. Rebound is wide from Tara Vinen. Picked up by Spiza. He'll bring the attack forward for Colorado. Spiza hit off in the corner. And the Silverbacks pick it off. Richie coming for it alone. Saber into his left. Richie stopping up waiting for support. Sent back. Padone off the bench and a save. It was blocked in front from Viglietti. 3.20 to go. Brought ahead by the Killdozers. This is Dezingle. Viglietti for Spisa. Bank that one on for Dezingle again. Rich trying to feed that one out in front. And a puck bounced around for Nick Holden to get. Scott Sabrin. Final two minutes of regulation. Richie up. Padone. Pump fakes. And missed the net with a shot. Richie had that one deflect off of Spisa. Back and forth action. Now it's the Killdozers' turn. Dezingle. Oh, he got hammered up high. But it fell for Smith to Zingle. Slow to get up. He's okay. Back in the play. 50 seconds to go. Brought ahead by Richie. Richie hanging on. Reinhardt. Save. Lions. He read it. And Morehouse with one that was blocked away by Lions. Quick reactions. Well, the Colorado goaltender has been superb today. Shot goes wide there. And it's brought back ahead by Andrew Reinhardt. 30 seconds of metal line. And it's hammered down to the ice by Edler. Broken stick on the ice. Davis waits, shoots, rebound! Lion stops it both times, puck is still free! And it goes behind for Morehouse. 17 seconds ago, sent back to the point for Poland Cars. Takes it to the slot, save! Loose still, Edler for Spiza. Nine seconds to go, picked off by Davis. One final chance in regulation for the Silverbacks. I feel lightheaded. Janssen will clear. Overtime will have to settle it. Seems like every game I've been calling recently has required the extra session. Ethan Lyons puts on a show in the third period, repulsing shot after shot except this one, which has sent us to OT. I think both teams would have preferred to deny their opposition a point. But alas, for them, that has not happened. Good for us, because it means we get three on three. These overtimes have been ending very quickly recently in the AHL. So we have another quick ending here. First shot has won more often than not in the month of June. 
And the Silverbacks may get it. Hints. Had that one sticked away. Play there. Ray had to lose it, and it fell for Bedard. Bedard is able to get by. James Bedard breaking away to win, and he missed the net. Still on it, Bedard sent back for Ray. On now for Chase. Super Dark save made by Cuomo. Big chance. Fell for Bedard again. He scores. James Bedard with the dagger. And the Killdozers take it home in OT. First shot didn't win. It was the third one. Another quick conclusion. Off the turnover, Bedard takes it. And Cuomo, after making a great save, couldn't stop it. What a performance by Ethan Lyons. Stopping 30, 29 of 31 shots. Cuomo not as great there as his team falls, but gets the point. So the Colorado Killdozers take over first place in the Western Conference from the Vancouver Grizzlies. The three stars, the third Mark pulling cars for Cincinnati with two assists, three big hits. Ethan Lyons, absolutely, 29 of 31. James Bedard, first star with two points, including the overtime winner. The game was not that eventful in the first two periods, but it got good at the end. A clinical display of goaltending at one end. And he's given his team the victory and one step closer to a buy in the playoffs, which could pay huge dividends for this Colorado team and their goal to make it back to the Andre Cup Finals like last season, but this time lift the trophy. Thank you all for watching. This has been a production of the Hockey Hockey League. Hit like and subscribe, and I'm out.